Biotechnica. Welcome to the another video. So today I'll be talking about the top 15 grants in biotech sector for research in India. So let's talk about the complete topic in detail. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's talk about the complete topic. So I have subdivided this category into the individual things that are provided for each of us as well as uh, if it is going to be for women, what's going to be there? And if you are staying abroad, do you have any sort of research grant in India? And I'll be talking about for young investigator just now completed PhD or postdocs. Then is there any grant available in India? I'll be talking everything in detail. So first, let me just subdivide into individual research grant, which is given specifically for each of them and grants for all the women out there. So there are many grants which are available. We have some uh, videos regarding this also like Sir Power Grant serve power fellowship and there are fellowship which are given by DST also and grants for young investigator then after completing PhD if you want to do something then there is research grant for you also suppose if there are someone who has done their PhD and postdoc if they have done and they're working abroad so if you want to ask them to come back to India then we need to provide some sort of research grant to them so these are some grants which are to attract the scientists, Indian scientists who are staying abroad so that they come back to India. The next one is Indo-International Partnership Grants. Like we used to see people working in the research laboratory in India used to travel and has a collaboration with uh, any part of the country like Indo-US Fellowship. I'm going to talk about the complete research grant details. So first, let's start off with the individual research grant. So we already know there are many, many research grant. I've listed few of the research grant for, uh, for all of you. So first is going to be Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. So if you want to know more about this one, you can look on to Biotechnica's video also. So which talks about the complete detail of the Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. And here this fellowship, the granting agency is going to be SCRC. Uh, and it is belonging to DST. And this is the website. If you want to go for, you can literally go for this. And usually a Swarna Jayanti Fellowship deadline will be tentatively in the month of March. You can uh, see the notification. And they're going to provide fellowship individually for each of you, like for five years. And they're going to provide you rupees 25,000 per month along with some contingency grant. So if you want to go and understand about it, you go to the website or look around the Biotechnica video. And the age is going to be 40 years. Uh, they have to be 40 years and they might be residing in India or they might be residing abroad. So they need to have completed their PhD. Then you can definitely go for Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. The next come most well-known one, which is JC Bose national fellowship and the granting agency is going to be dst department of science and technology this is the website you can go on to the website and check and the deadline is going to be all around the year every year you can find this fellowship and the duration is going to be for five years you can get this research grant and every month you're gonna get twenty thousand per month in addition to the regular salary that you will be receiving in any companies or in any sort of uh, academia or even in a research institute along with a contingency grant for one year they're going to provide you rupees 5 lakh so these are all for individual fellowship you're going to get it separately and of course we know about CSAR research grant if you go to CSAR research grant website or if you go directly to CSAR and type in research grant you're going to see a lot of things that will be popping up over there there are many many um, research grants which are provided by CSAR so you can go to the website and look around all the things CSAR provides ICMR research grant is there DBT research grant is there and there are many many research grants which are provided individually for an individual research Researchers also so these are some of the four individual research grant now let's start off with grants for young investigator suppose if you have done your PhD or your postdoc and you're looking for some opportunity that you want to avail individually then you can go for this fellowship this is very specifically for young investigators young PI so first is going to be Har Gobind Corona innovative young biotechnologist award 
and this is all of you know about har gobind corona who is the interpreter of uh, the genetic code and the granting agency is going to be dbt is going to provide this one because it is biotechnologies award since we are talking about biotechnology research so i have taken biotechnologist award and this is going to be the website and this also award you can apply throughout the year and the duration is 3 years and there is extension for 2 years if applicable and they're going to provide you almost 1 lakh for a uh, one year and this is for permanent position suppose if you are in a research laboratory and you have done uh, your phd and your postdoc and then if you want to start as a scientist or any sort of things initially as a young investigator then definitely they are going to give you rupees 1 lakh suppose if you are uh, in any soft jobs like that then they are going to provide you rupees 75000 per month and the eligibility is going to be you definitely need to be phd in life sciences medical sciences since we are talking about biotechnology i have written phd in biotechnology and below 35 years and there is a relaxation uh, for 5 years for sc st as well as for women there is going to be 5 year relaxation so if you are 40 years then you can also apply for this one so this is for the young investigator the next comes grant for young investigator this is going to be boys cast so this is better opportunity for young scientists in chosen area of science and technology this is given by dst and you can see the website here and the deadline is usually tentatively going to be july month and if you want to apply for this one it is 3 to 12 months this you can do it abroad the main uh, purpose of this young investigator program is almost 3 to 12 months you can work in a foreign laboratory in collaboration with your project and they're going to provide you a fellowship per month of 3000 us dollars and what is the eligibility you need to have your phd and your age should be up to 35 years then you can definitely go for this boys cast uh um, fellowship or a research grant specially for the young investigator the next comes dae research award for young scientist this is also for the young scientist and this is by let me just close this one so this is for uh, dae which is department of atomic energy when you see this do not get confused how can a biotechnologist get a, a research positions or a research grant here of course they are providing here so department of atomic energy government of india and this is you can apply throughout the year and you can avail this research grant for almost 3 years and you're going to get a maximum of rupees 35 lakh for complete year we can say and the eligibility is you need to be below 35 years that's why they are giving it as a uh, young investigator award specially below 35 years you cannot see anybody who are above 45 years applying for this because the eligibility itself says um, 35 years below 35 years that's why it's called a uh, grant for young investigator things the next comes grant for the women yes so there are many things that are available so i'm going to list out few of the thing the first is going to be scholarship for research in basic or applied sciences so biotechnology comes under this which is by dst of course we know about women scientist scheme a b c and many things are there a is for all the uh, life science people so you can definitely go for this one and the granting agency is going to be dst dst is going to provide women scientist scheme award uh, ye and this is the website you can go to the website and you can check and the deadline is throughout the year you can apply for this one and they are going to provide you this uh, research grant for almost 3 years and the support is 30000 to 50000 it's going to be variable and 27 years if you are in your pg if you have done your pg but you want to avail this uh wos a scheme or a research grant then you will be getting almost rupees 30000 per month suppose if you have done phd then you can avail rupees 50000 per month so if you are someone who are watching out this video thinking everything is phd i'm telling even as a msc student after completing if you're going to write a project you can become uh, avail this women scientist scheme uh, research grant also the next comes dbt research grants previously i was talking about dst and now it is dbt yes of course biotechnology projects are maximum here so this is dbt and it's going to be the dbt india nic dot in you can go 
and here also they are going to receive uh, the application form all around the year and this is for three years and this is not like stipendship they are going to provide they are going to provide you for some consumables or contingencies or staff or travels everything will be covered so you can apply for some other scholarship and if you want this one then you can also avail this one. Of course, there's something called a Serve Power Grant and Serve Power Fellowship. If you want to know the differences, we have a video separately for Serve Power Grant and Serve Power Fellowship where you can look into and get a detail about it. So now I'm going to talk about Serve Power Grant. Uh, this is through SCRB Serve and this is the website and here you can apply all around the year and duration is going to be for three years they're going to fund you and they are going to be two categories level one category and level two category in level one people who are in iit iac everybody will come under level one the other institutions will come under level two suppose if you're belonging to level one for three years you can get 60 lakh and for level two 30 lakhs you can get it for three three years so this is all about the women's scheme. So which is a DST scheme we have. We have DBD scheme we have. We have serve power grant and power fellowship also we have separately. If I have to talk about this one, women also has like a, a US uh, fellowship also in collaboration with this one. You can also go and check in for that one also. Okay, now let's talk about uh, grant to attract scientists to return to India. There are some fellowships. Suppose if you are um, working abroad, but you wanted to return back to India. If you if you want to get some research grant, then you can go for either of these two things. One is going to be Ramanujan Fellowship. So here you can see this Ramanujan Fellowship is to attract scientists to return to India. And DST SERB, it is also going to be SERB. And this is the website you can go and check. You can apply all around the year. And they're going to fund you for five years, but there is no extension. Only for five years, they're going to fund you. If it's going to be more than that, they're definitely not going to fund you. And the support is going to be for one year, you're going to, for one month, you're going to get 1,35,000 along with your HRA. And research grant is going to be rupees 7 lakh for one year they're going to provide you, which means after coming from uh, any part of the world, you're definitely going to get a very good salary for almost five years, a good opportunity. You need to be a PhD holder and Indian scientists who are working abroad and below 40 years. It has to be below 40 years. This is the condition for Ramanujan Fellowship. The next come Ramalinga Swami re-entry fellowship to India. This we have a separate video also. You can look around it. And this is the website and DBT is going to give this one. And you can apply all around the year. Here there is an extension. So five years along with if it is applicable, it can be extended also. For one month, you're going to get rupees 1 lakh. And you're going to get a HRA of about 18,500. And contingency, it can be variable from rupees 10 lakh to 7.5 lakh according to the positions and definitely a PhD holder and you need to be doing your postdoc here it's not only PhD you need to have a postdoc experience um, abroad uh, even if you have not done postdoctoral uh, abroad at least two years you should have stayed abroad and worked with a scientist and you can be within uh, 45 years then you can apply apply to this one also. So this is about the Ramlinga Swami Reentry Fellowship. So this is about the grant to attract the scientists to return to India. The next comes Indo-International Partnership Grant. So here you can literally see uh, this is going to be some of the uh, fellowship that you can avail to go abroad and work with some of the scientists who are in different places. So one I've returned for French, another one is India, another one is Indo-US Fellowship. So first let's, most of you know about Indo-US Fellowship. Now I'm gonna talk about Indo-French Center for Promotion of Advanced Research. And here it is DST, DST Department of Science. And they're gonna fund you for three years. You can go abroad and they're gonna fund you for three years and it's gonna be a full research grant. And the deadline usually varies from April 1 to October 1 every year. And the next is going to be UK. If you want to go and work in UK, then definitely you can go for this one. So this is UK India Education Research Initiative where you can go abroad and work with the UK scientists for some period of time, almost for three years. And they're going to definitely fund you the UK dollars. And the granting agency is DST along with UKIERI. And this is the website. And the deadline usually varies. And the duration is going to be three years. 
and they're going to fund you almost 1 lakh 50000 uh, euros they're going to give you so this is about the uk if you want to go and work the next comes indo us yes most of you might have heard of this indo us fellowship which is usually for a year they're going to provide you so this is indo us science and technology forum and if you want to know more about it you can go to this website and you can check usually you can see the notification or the deadline during december month so which is on the line you can check it and the duration is going to be 12 months in the us you can work with any of the scientists and they're going to provide you us dollar of 3000 per month along with a little bit of uh, contingency allowances also and they're going to provide you so i've been talking today about what are the top 15 grants in biotech sector for research in india research biotechnology if you want to carry out anywhere in the world or in india what are the research grants that are available you can either go to dst dbt csar icmr or there are some fellowship to attract a uh, uh, foreign scientist or science, Indian scientists working abroad like Ramanujam, Ramlingaswamy and if you're working in India but want to stay abroad for some period of time there are some fellowship like Indo-US and UK India Education Research Initiative and Indo-French uh, Center all this thing and individual fellowships are also available like Swaruprani, JC Bose, CSIR Research Grant, DBT, ICMR many many more and there are some young investigator uh, grants are also available and for women there are many uh, fellowships or the grants are also available. Uh, suppose if you're finding sometimes to find a research grant so what are the problems you usually face to find the research grant because you might be missing your deadline so if you if you want to know that just if you have any kind of questions put it in the comment section so we'll look back to it and come up with another video i believe that this video is helpful for you so thank you all of you for joining and i'm going to meet you back again with another video